Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you have landed here for the very first time. If you are new to this channel then please click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon which is just next to it so that you can get regular updates from my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram that is at the way beyond local goddesses so that we can be buddies. So today we'll be reacting to Lunaverse Basics 2 Common Misconceptions. Oh my goodness, I am so so in love with this lore and the theories just pulling me towards itself and I can't stop thinking about it, I can't stop watching the videos about it. Let's go. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back Hi. to Luminosity. In this episode of our basic series, we're going to build upon the introductory episode by clarifying common misconceptions about the lore. So, let's dive into the Lunaverse. Let's go. Luna's videos contain a lot of subtle details, some of which are shown through quickly passing or ambiguous imagery. Although this makes them interesting to watch, it also makes it far harder to discern what exactly is being shown, leading to vastly different interpretations. Thankfully, other sources such as backstage photos or information from the production staff can provide the answers. Wow. In Love Cherry Motion, Trudy awakens upside down in a strange place and is blinded by a blonde girl holding a mirror. The out of focus shot makes it difficult to identify exactly who this girl is, but she was commonly assumed to be either Kim Lip or Jin So. Until Luna X Study Group, where Kim Lip disclosed that she was the mysterious girl all along. Girlfriend briefly depicts a girl circling around Odd Eye Circle. Luna Chick shows an extended cut of this scene, revealing a cassette player in her hand, one of the many visual symbols in Luna's videography. She is sometimes thought to be Hyunjin due to the latter's cameo appearance in Girlfriend, among other reasons. However, Girlfriend's description seems to reference the girl with the line, another girl yet to be introduced revolves around Odd Eye Circle, suggesting that her identity is among the members of the final subunit, Eve, Chu, Go Wan, or Olivia Hay. Oh. In New, Eve is seen sitting at a table with a cassette player and five cassette tapes, a clear mm. callback to the opening of Every Day I Love You. When she picks up Vivi's tape, the surface of the case appears to be fractured. The illusion of cracks on the case are simply tree branches behind Vivi, which can be seen more easily in the original teaser image. Eve later chooses two animal plushies from the claw machine. The first appears to be a frog, and the second... a penguin. Comparing the footage to this teaser image reveals which two plushies were chosen by Eve. A frog for Yojin, and an owl for Kim Lip. Oh, Jin's penguin is on the bottom right and also appeared in Heart Attack. Live animals are seen throughout Egoist in quick flashing shots, with one in particular standing out from the rest. It's frequently thought to be a deer, baby's representative animal. The close-up shot and harsh filtering make it hard to tell yeah. that the animal is actually a wolf rather than a deer, which is reaffirmed by the source of the stock footage used. I'm good at it. I'm loving this. One is an unsettling video that some consider to be a teaser for YY by Y's eventual repackage of Beauty and the Beat. It was actually first shown as an undisclosed short film at Cinema Theory Up and Line in Busan and was officially uploaded six days later as YY by Y's secret. Luna's YouTube videos are usually labeled with two square brackets, yet one's label is not teaser, but rather blank. This marks the earliest appearance of the mysterious blank label, which has rarely been used since. The release of X2X established a link between Gowan and Hasso, as both the teaser and Let Me In were filmed in Iceland. 
In light of this connection, the French line at the climax of Let Me In seems to be uttered in Gowon's distinctive crunchy tone. However, during an interview with Star News, Gowon clarified that she was not involved at the start of the Luna project. She joined BBC in January 2018, over a year after Let Me In's release. And so, she could not have participated in the song's recording. If you're in orbit who's interested in the Lunaverse, chances are you've heard the words Read the description box, starting from Sona Team. Luna's video descriptions are usually long and detailed, explaining the concept of the album and the lore pertaining to it. Even though these descriptions only started appearing on YouTube with Sona Team's release, they actually existed from the start of the project, just in a different format. Each title track's YouTube description is an English translation of that album's press release, which can be found as the album's description on Korean music sites. The description boxes of the title tracks before Sonatine are virtually empty because their album press releases were never officially translated. Thankfully, Reddit user Little John has Thank provided you. an English translation for each of them, which is linked below. BBC does not explain each and every detail about the Lunaverse, encouraging Orbits to endlessly speculate and craft yeah. intricate theories based on their personal understanding of Luna's story. These can range from the divine, the violent, the supernatural, the scientific, as well as countless other concepts. Wow! Any theory is really just one of the many ways of interpreting the enigmatic tale unfolding with every release. However, misconceptions arise when a theory is believed to be a fact. That's why exploring each other's perspectives and verifying what's canonical through the multitude of official sources available are both key parts of uncovering the mysteries of the Luniverse. And no. She's not Christ. Thanks for watching. Thank you for Our being references here. can be found in the description box below. If you have any questions about the video, feel free to leave a comment. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be covering Luna One Third and Yojin. Wow. Since I know a lot about them now, I can definitely dive into the solos now and the subunits and then I can make my own theories because if you know me when I watch the music video I really do not understand any theory no matter how simple it is I don't so for me it's very important to watch things like this first because it's interesting and it's even it's attracting me way more to their music as well and so I can understand a lot more what's going to happen in the music video now anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and if you have some suggestions or requests for me then let me know in the comment section and i'll try my best to fulfill that and i will see you guys in my next video bye